what's up guys what is going on Zach or immortal here welcome back to the channel thank you guys so much for stopping by once again as always today we're talking about more call of duty world war 2 leaks this time regarding the box art now if you guys are pretty active over on Twitter or reddit I'm sure you guys have seen the supposed box art leak as of right now if not I'm gonna leave a link to the Charlie Intel article very top of the description go and check it out you can see it for yourselves and develop your own opinion on whether or not you think it's real or fake anyways I'm not gonna be throwing up any images in this video for copyright reasons in case it does happen to be real but I do want to discuss it in this video because one thing in particular makes this leak just incredible for me and it's not the fact that it could be real or it could be fake it's just the response that proves the the, the stretch that some people will go to try and make a leak there's been a lot of stuff over on the World War 2 subreddit of people making fan-made posters and fan-made uh, title menus and things like that a lot of people cr try and create these supposed leaks for attention and just to see if they can fool the Call of Duty community or not I do think that this is one of those scenarios where this leak is not actually real this is someone trying to pull uh, a trick out of their sleeve and fool the Call of Duty community but this one guy over on Twitter by the name of Moriarty shout out to any Sherlock fans out there by the way um, this Moriarty guy actually tweets at Charlie Intel after they were talking about it over on Twitter saying hey there's this new leak this supposed box art leak has, has surfaced what do you guys think about it and this guy responds this was posted on April 1st and they're gonna keep their big unannounced game cases beside a trash can if you guys have seen the image of course you'll notice that the uh, these box art images are of the games on PlayStation 4 inside of a little cardboard box sitting next to a trash can that was supposedly this picture was taken inside the Activision HQ um, and he, he follows it up by making another good point also who is that guy? What is he doing at Activision HQ and why did he decide to bring his 0.00005 megapixel camera with him? It, I, it makes sense. The dude is just straight up roasting the leak and the fact that it's probably fake, but he does it in the perfect way. Like he points out perfectly. Why would Activision have their brand new unannounced game sitting next to a garbage can in an office? And why is the dude taking pictures of it taking pictures in like 144p? This is like YouTube processing from 2007 going in with the photos here on these supposed leaks why is it that every single year these leaks come out and everyone who who's able to see these supposed leaks has a camera from 1997 in their back pocket and that's what they use to take these pictures with why can't anyone with a Canon DSLR or something be going for these leaks and take a nice high quality images here for the internet to see and debunk and decide whether or not it's real or fake instead we have to use Photoshop and zoom in 200 times to where we can literally see each and every individual pixel I don't know let me know what you guys think about this leak I just thought this I thought this was a pretty funny one because regardless of whether it's real or fake which by the way it is most likely fake this guy over on Twitter just proves to the utmost extent what some people will do to try and create a leak that is not so easily debunked like making a low quality picture trying to make it as legitimate as possible without without going over the line and just easily proving that yeah this is fake I tried too hard to do it I don't know some people are crazy with what they can come up with for these quote unquote leaks drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed that's gonna wrap things up for today if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video stay happy stay positive of course don't forget to smile because you are never gonna regret it peace out